Happy new release night, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Legacy Football 12 box inner case break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Very big thank you to all of these folks for getting these teams straight up. And we put a lot of teams in, uh, in these uh, uh, team randoms here. So there's team random one. And the second team random that we have, so one was a nine spot team random. And that was the $30.99 one. We can get these teams. So thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's randomize that list five times. One and a four. One, two, three, four, and five. CJ down to Jeremy. So CJ, you have the Cowboys, Danilo with the Niners, Caleb with the Packers, CJ with the Colts, Matt with the Lions, CJ with the Bengals, Alfred with the Saints, Jets for Leonard, and Jeremy with the Buccaneers. All right. So now there was the other one. That was $36.99. That was 11-spot team random. So big thanks to these folks for getting into that one. And let's randomize that one. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three. Three, and a one, four times. After four times, we've got Todd down to Mark. All right, Todd, you get the Broncos, Jeremy with the Giants, Brian O with the Ravens, Derek with the Eagles, Jeremy with the Panthers, Jeremy Mennel with the Bills, Scott, uh, Cosmo with the Vikings, Garrett Kerr with the Jags, Jeffrey Tope, with the Titans, Jeremy 33 with the Chargers, and Mark Livingston with the Falcons. All right, so CJ with the Cowboys. So give me a minute to plug all these people, and we'll put a little uh, symbol next to your name so you know you got that in a spot random. Danilo with the Niners. Caleb with the Packers. CJ with the Colts. Matt Buckler with the Lions. CJ with the Bengals. And if you're watching the replay of this, you can obviously fast forward through this part. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me here. Alfred with the Saints. And if you want to avoid these team randoms, folks, get your team straight up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more in the store. Leonard with the Jets and Jeremy with the Bucks. On the next one, Todd, you got the Broncos. A little oppo Joe mojo. Jeremy 33 with the New York Football Giants. Brian O with the Ravens. Derek Williams with the Eagles. Jeremy 33 with the Panthers. Well, I, I would love to as well, Arson. Let's avoid these team randoms. Just get your team straight up. Makes it a lot easy. I think with a new release and a debut of a brand new product, people, people hesitate a little bit to pull the trigger. Cosmo with the Vikings. So I think sometimes these... Team randoms early on just kind of helps things going, and then that, and then after that, people will start buying those teams straight up. I'm sure. Garrett Kerr with the Jags. Jeffrey Tope with the Titans. Tope Tennessee Titans. Good alliteration there. Jeremy 33. Bolts. And last but not least, Mark Livingston. I presume with the Dirty Birds. The birds of the dirty, dirty south. All right, let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. So this break does take about an hour. So get comfortable. Remember, we... Open up that master case and mark this. Pick your team two. 
Pick your team three. There are still 20 teams, 18 teams you can get straight up. Went down from 20 to, eight, 20 to 18. Uh, 18 teams you can get straight up. And we can do another one of those tonight. We still have time for it tonight. And that hockey has got some movement now. That's down to 3 out of 10. And select uh, 2013, select football is down to 2. So I feel like we can squeeze those breaks in tonight and still have time to do another inner case of legacy if you'd like. All right, so here is the uh, the final printout. <laughs> there you go, Barry. Hey, it's 2019. You can watch Jaspies however you want. If it, if it includes if it includes aromatherapy candles and uh, warm massage oils, if that's how you can best enjoy Jaspies, hey, be my guest. That sounds very relaxing. Now, Brian, oh, I saw you. This is an hour-long break, so we have a chance to chit-chat about a lot of other things. Brian, I saw you lament the fact that there is now beer delivery. But I agreed with the person who said that prevents you from, from driving drunk to get more beer. I get booze delivered to me all the time. I love it. Delivery is the best thing ever. All right, there's box one. Good luck, folks. Remember, we've got two autographs per box on average. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I need, a, I need more trash space here. Stand by. Sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so Brian O is suggesting. <laughs> Brian O is suggesting just just get the right amount of booze in the first place. Good luck, everybody. Well, in previous breaks, we were monitoring the uh, the Blue Jays possibly trying to walk it off. Vlad Guerrero Jr. walking it off would be hashtag good for the hobby, but he led off the 12th, the bottom of the 12th, with a, a fly out to center. Now, Richard Urena is pinch hitting for Justin Smoke. Maybe Rowdy Tellez could be a hero. Good luck, everybody. Oh, by the way, we are going to go by this group break checklist right here. And remember, all the non-serial numbered base rookie cards will be randomized to one person in the break. So it'll be one person in the break right there. So keep that in mind. Um, what else? I don't think there's any other disclaimers after that. And it's all in the item description, which I'm sure everybody read. We're going to start off with Mr. Irrelevant, Caleb Wilson. 
old UCLA product, just up the 405. And Caleb Wilson goes to the Cardinals. Actually, I'll tag these to help out the shipping team. So Logan with Arizona. All right, we got Tom Brady 100. We'll sleeve and top load those before they get sorted and sent out. There's Charlie Joyner to 165. What, Alfred, you don't like the Saints? Not happy with the with, with getting randomized the Saints? You get a little Jordan Humphrey. For the ages, there's Kyle Rudolph. Oh, we got 11 boxes to go, Logan. Ro Logan's already like Bronc Cardinal, Joe. Come on. Got plenty of time. We got Tyree Jackson. Jersey and autograph from the University of Buffalo. From the University of Buffalo Gold. And from the University of Buffalo, he, he oh, he also went to Buffalo. You didn't have to go very far. Buffalo! Jeremy Mental got randomized to the Bills. Doesn't have to go anywhere. Out of 199. Jeffrey Simmons. And then we got John Taylor. That's number to 100. We already got our two autographs. Let's see if we can find some low-numbered parallels here. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a keep to leave coming into focus. Oh, wow. Rowdy Tellis did hit a home run. Now the game's tied again. 5-5. Five, five. Garrett Kerr saying, I have zero faith in the Red Sox bullpen. Daniel Jones, not numbered, but that'll go to the Giants. All right, then we got out of 299. So it's these rookie base cards that won't be, that will be randomized as one lot to one person at the end of the break. Like the Chrome one or anything that's serial numbered would still go to its actual team. Their current team. All right. Next box. Now let's see. I have financial interest in the Cubs. They won. And I have financial interest in the Giants, and I don't think they're going to come back from 1-6. In the bottom of the fifth. Although the Braves bullpen has been known to dot dot dot. All right. Good luck, everybody. So I'll, I'll ask the crew that's watching right now. What I asked the crew that was watching the first Legacy break, what uh, what rookie are we looking forward to seeing in action, hoping that they do well? Who do you think is the rookie that's going to make the the first 
or the biggest impact? Will it be Kyler Murray? Maybe a defensive player? Marquise Brown? AJ Brown? Barry thinking DK Metcalf? No Doug Baldwin up in Seattle. So that could pave the way for DK Metcalf. Alfred, who has the Saints, saying Lil' Jordan Humphrey. Garrett Kerr saying uh, Nikhil Harry. So this rookie will ship to its its team, Byron Murphy, f for the uh, Cardinals. Logan thinks Marquise Brown, Rashawn Gary, is going to be a beast, says Brian O. Mr. Mike's daddy. Oh, looking forward to seeing Darius Geis. Yeah, from last year. And there's Devin White. Gold. 16 out of 50. Devin White is a Buccaneer. That's going to go to Jeremy Mennel with the Bucks. Johnny Sports Card saying Noah Font. Alfred's also mentioning Nick Bosa. Out of 199. I mean, obviously for for the hobby, I'm definitely hoping that that Kyler Murray, you know, really emerges and plays well. There's Icky Woods to 165. Arthur, do you have an off the wall question? Sure. Is it family friendly? As long as it's that. Andy Dalton to 50. Well, what was the name of the Airbnb when I stayed there in Scottsdale? I don't remember, Arthur, honestly, but it was... You know near Scottsdale where the, uh, where the golf course is? You would take a right, and the golf course would be on your on the east side, and it was somewhere a few streets up and over. It was really nice, actually. Futures jersey and auto AJ Brown. AJ Brown. We just had him a second ago. I got to remember all these guys. Not A.J. Green. A.J. Brown is a Titan. That's right. Got to learn all these. Thankfully, it's still the summer. That goes to Tennessee. And that is for Jeff Tope. There you go, Jeff. I think it's Barry in the chat. Tyreek Hill to 100. All right, next box. Oh, after scr scratching a run back, the Blue Jays now give up a solo home run to Michael Chavez. Chavis.
Is, why, is Max Free still in the game? He's hitting for himself. Is that how bad the Braves' bullpen is? Max Freed gives up six runs and he's still pitching? Batting for himself in the top of the sixth inning? Yeah, Michael Chavis definitely seems like the real deal, right? Ten homers on the season already? I don't think I don't think he was playing every day, so I think that's all very recent. All right, next box. Good luck. We got Mark Gaston now for the Jets. There's Andy Dalton to 165. Andy Dalton's days have to be numbered, right? I think this might be like the pretty much the last year or two where, where he's going to be given a chance before they're starting to draft quarterbacks to come up right behind him. There's Nick Chubb. Second-year player auto going to Glenn and the Browns. Number to fifty. What's uh? What are the Browns gonna do? Are the are the Browns gonna win the Super Bowl next year? Yes or no? Wow, Dalton is a nobody, says Alfred. I think his wife might disagree, but and his parents. I guess in, in terms of football, is it is it done? He, is he done? This is this this year might be his last chance. That's out of one hundred. Lasting Legacies, Jim Brown for the Browns. And we've got TJ Hawkinson. Already, Todd? We still have nine boxes left. We've got 40 more minutes left in the break. E.J. Hawkinson is a uh, lion. Matt Buckler with Detroit. And that's till 199. There's Daryl Henderson to 100. All right, and the next box. Alfred, too? He's like, how about some Saints, man? And I feel, I feel like one has to wait until at least a couple boxes into the second half of a break to start wondering where a certain team is. Brian says, a little tribute I got stumped on today. CeCe Sabathia has hit 3,000 strikeouts. Can we name the other seven active pitchers with 2,000? Active pitchers with 2,000. Does Kershaw have 2,000? Scherzer? Verlander's got 2,000 something. Bob's got a vent for a second. I'm really pissed that Panini didn't do classic for 2019. Don't know why, but it was one of my most favorite product for years. I don't know. They put it on hiatus in lieu of, and Majestic, in lieu of Legacy. 
So yeah, I thought I thought Classics was a popular brand for them, but I guess not. I guess it didn't do well enough for them to, to keep it around. Or maybe they're just planning on shelving it for a year or two and then reworking, redesigning it, reworking it. They could, I could, maybe they'll release it as a retail product, who knows. Uh, okay, so Scherzer, yes, 2,536. Kershaw, yes, 2,319. Yeah, what about uh, Alfred, Alfred and Barry are saying King Felix? All right. There's Dak to 199. Out of 50 for Andrew. Verlander, 2,795. Out of 25, Kenyon Drake. Who else has a lot of strikeouts? Can't think. The, uh, I think I've, got, I've got football on the brain right here. There's Josh Allen out of 199. And there's Futures, two-color jersey and autograph, J.J. Arcego-Whiteside. Uh, that is a an eagle. I want to fly like an eagle. Derek Williams got randomized the Eagles. Uh, no, I, I didn't see that. Did Rizzo break part of the Budweiser sign? That's that's coming out of his paycheck. Will Jordan Humphrey? That'll go to you, Alfred. We got two lefties and two righties, or two lefties and one righty left, and that strikeout. Active pitchers, at least two thousand strikeouts. Alfred thinks Julio Tehran. What about like... There's Jarrett Stidham. Uh, for the Patriots, Julio Terong says Brian O. Jared Stidham goes to the Patriots. That'll be for Karen and her Pats. Caleb Wilson. Active pitcher is 2,000 strikeouts at least. They have to be in the league for a minute or two. <laughs> Rex is guessing John Lester. Yeah, he's been around the league long enough. Out of 299, Michael Bennett. Nice, so Lester is one, nice. Pitchers who have been around for a while. What about uh, Bumgarner? 
Madison Bumgarner, he's been around for a minute or two. No, I, don't, I think Jamie Moore retired a few years ago at like 45 or something like that. Cueto's not a bad guess. He could have racked up a couple thousand in the Reds days. Cologne's retired, no longer active. Bartolo must have a couple thousand though. Cracked ice something or other down here. Let's figure out what that is. We haven't seen that one yet. To 199. Adam Wainwright's a good guess. Um, well, CC Sabathia Wayne is what started this whole conversation. All right, out of 100. Wayne Wrong. I said, did I say Bumgarner? Isn't he a lefty? There is Cleland Farrell for my Raiders. Rookie auto for Tyler Fernandez. Got my Raiders. Little Raider Joe Mojo. Little eyebrows raised when he was picked that high, but... I guess Oakland got his got their man. There you go, Tyler. Ozzie Newsom. He's got a he's got a decent auto too. As far as two letter autos go. Some little, no bums up here, says says Brian O. All right, all right. A lefty who has won a World Series that is still active with at least 2,000 strikeouts. I don't think Cole Hamels has won a World Series, has he? At a 299. Chris Sale. Nice, Rex. It's got to be Chris Sale. At a 299. Wait, is it Cole Hamels? Who did he win the World Series with? Phillies? And there's Riley Ridley. Two color jersey and autograph with the Phillies. That's what it was. Forgot about. It was that uh it was those Phillies teams that ran through my Dodgers in the NLCS. The Dodgers just couldn't get over the hump for a couple of seasons there. There's Riley Ridley. For the Bears, that's going to go to Anthony Delgado. So one pitcher left. Can we get a hint for the for the last one? A righty, and he's an odd one.
I'm mixing up my cards here. And that cracked ice that we saw down here is going to be Bryce Love. It's a cool parallel. Out of 10. Bryce Love for the Redskins. Active. It's got to be active. I don't think Cliff Lee's active anymore. Righty, odd one, has an outstanding home pitching record historically. Oh, Kluber. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, box six of 12. Almost halfway there, folks. We're, we're still not even halfway done, Todd. Really, you got to wait till like the last four boxes right here. Not in this club, all right. I thought that was a good guess, Alfred. What about, uh, Todd was saying Kyle Hendricks. What about Kyle Hendricks? I don't think he's been around long enough for 2,000 strikeouts, right? I don't think of him as a strikeouts guy. Right, Rex, yeah, exactly. With a lot of bullpenning that's going on, I don't think anyone's, not a lot of players are going to get to 5,000 strikeouts anymore. 300 wins, that benchmark is out. Most of the autos are non-numbered. That's what it seems like. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, these 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 uh, these breaks are a solid hour. These twelve box inners. Can we get a league, maybe, Brian? A L N L. NL, NAL? Where is he currently? Philip Rivers. I think we already said Verlander. He's played for four teams. Timeless talents to 100. There's Riley Ridley again. We just had him, didn't we? Riley Ridley is a bear. I don't think James Shields is in the league, right? John Lackey is no longer active. We're talking active pitchers. So, hey, Anthony, another one. Nice. Roger Craig. He's been on the Angels and the Brewers? There's Larry Fitzgerald. To 50. Hmm. Angels and the Brewers. At a two ninety nine. 
Is that red one different? No, that was just the team. Well, Wayne Sabathia is the one that kicked off this whole conversation. Brian was like, Brian was like, Sabathia, blah, 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 has 2,000 X, X amount of strikeouts, and then that got me thinking, who are the... Who are the Granky, that's got to be Granky. He was on the Angels. He was on the Brewers. He's a right-hander, and he's an odd one. Garrett Kerr, nice. Brian O says yes. Got it. Nice. Rodney Hampton, I forgot about that. Yeah. Rodney Hampton is a New York football. Oh, it says right there, New York football giant. I was like, why am I just habit of looking it up? But he's an old school guy. Oh, sorry, Jeremy thirty three. <laughs> Thankfully, it was top loaded already. All right, so Brian, can you give us a? Oh, did Arthur said Granky a while back? I admit we missed that. Oh yeah, Arthur said it at eight thirty five Pacific. We all missed it. Sorry, Arthur. It's in the chat. Just scroll up to the 835 timestamp. Yeah, it was 13 minutes ago. That's a long time in the, in, in the broadcasting world. 13 minutes, that's like half a Family Guy episode. Wait, so, Brian, can we have that, uh, yeah, good call, good call for, for Arthur. I guess maybe we just didn't, didn't want to say Granky after that, and then Garrett mentioned it again. Um, so Brian, can you give us the uh, can you give us the rundown? So this was the top like seven active pitchers, top seven active pitchers with at least two thousand strikeouts. Can we can we get get a summary again, a little recap? If you if you have that information still available, possibly in order. going on here let's look at that that's a high leg kick for George Kittle out of 100 Eric Dickerson there's Jerry Kramer to 100 for the Packers Devin Bush to 50. There's Antonio Brown to 165. Lasting Legacies. 
And nice Daniel Jones autograph for the New York Football Giants. I'm rooting for Daniel Jones. A quarterback, a high pick. Right? He's got a nice autograph. That'd be, if he does well, hashtag good for the hobby. Hey, everyone, everyone raised their eyebrows when Mitchell Trubisky, when they traded up for Mitchell Trubisky and he got drafted so high. There's Deontay Thompson. For the Cardinals. Come on, Giants. What a what a dinger by Austin Riley. So Toronto loses. The Giants lose. I only won two games today. Two two out of two out of six. That's not good. I thought I was I was back on a good baseball streak, but nothing. All right, next box. Was that a three auto box? I honestly don't remember. Was it these three? Maybe. Could be an ab above average box. It's been known to happen. Where was this from the Braves yesterday when I needed the, when I was on the Braves yesterday? Unbelievable. Well, dust off your Austin Riley rookie cards, folks. He's been raking. Rex, you saw a post on Twitter showing stacks of signed basketball cards that are basically Topps Chrome. Where did you see this? On on the Topps Twitter? Tyler Harrow posted on Insta some kid from Kentucky going pro. They look like they have a G League logo. Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe they did get a G League license. That could be interesting. Oh, thank you, Brian. So we got so top seven active pitchers. At least 2,000 strikeouts. The list in order. Sabathia, who just got 3,000 recently. 3,013. Verlander with 2,795. Scherzer, then Scherzer, 2,536. Then Granke, 2,502. King Felix, 2,501. Cole Hamels, 2,469. Kershaw, 2,319. And Lester with 2,232. You think Ver Verlander should be able to hit 3,000, right? Not sure. Scherzer should be able to. I don't know if Granky will. I don't think King Felix will. I don't think Hamels will. I don't think Kershaw will. And I don't think Lester will. But Verlander and Scherzer, I could see... Verlander, I could see hit 3,000 for sure. He's only a couple hundred away. Scherzer, I would imagine he would too. There's Dick Buckus, 299. The next active guys are Irvin Santana. I don't think he'll get there. 
I don't think Price will get there. Chris Sale, that'd be interesting. He has 1,872 strikeouts, Chris Sale. Could he get to 3,000? 2,000 for sure. Not sure if 3,000 is going to happen. Sorry, Jamal Adams coming into focus. And we've got Jersey and Autograph, Futures Jersey and Auto, Debo Samuel, a Gamecock. Debo Samuel will go to the Niners. And that's going to be for Danilo, who got randomized the Niners. San Francisco for although they're not in San Francisco anymore. I don't know if they look I don't know if they're even they're kind of far away. Fifty out of fifty, David Johnson. And Montez Sweat. I want to say Eagles. He sounds like an eagle to me. Or I'm probably thinking of Josh Sweat. Uh, Montez Sweat goes to the Redskins. I tried. Not quite in midseason form yet. Here's Drew Brees, 299. There's Will Greer to 50. Well, that's the plan, Alfred. I want to. Let's see if these boxes cooperate with us, huh? All right, four boxes left. I guess after a box or two, we can start complaining. <laughs> then the complaints will be allowed. Come on, where, where is this team? Uh, David Farmer saying just one left in select. Good, we're almost done with this break. We're about, what, another 15, 20 minutes away from finishing up this break? I don't think anything else sold out after this, so we can probably work on that. Uh, we can now finish off that select football, which doesn't take very long. That might bring us close to the last hour of the broadcast. I don't think we're going to get there on Legacy tonight. I don't know. If we fill Legacy that Legacy Pikachu Team 3 by 10 o'clock Pacific, I'm, I'll do it. I'm down. New release night. Let's do it. That's right, Rex. Fact. <laughs> if, 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 uh, if this break doesn't go well for you, I'm like, come on, stupid boxes, right? But if I pull a monster hit, it was all my mojo, all my magic. That's how it goes. <laughs> Logan, I'm sad. He said, Logan, if this makes you sad, then this might not be the game for you. I don't want people to be sad. Oh, Rex, we're going to have a new, we're going to have a new Jaspi Garden in our new store. Did you hear us talk about the new store? I think it's I think it's pretty much set. The expansion. That's numbered right there, Marquise Brown. 
Yeah, we're moving, Cody West. I think we. I think there's only there's like one hurdle. Nice Nikhil Harry. Uh, Patriots, I believe, right? The Patriots with embarrassment of riches. Yeah, Nikhil Harry goes to the Pats. But there's one step, Rex. We just have to get. Um, like the final okay from the city of Hermosa Beach, California. But the, the building had accepted us and said, hey, the person who owns the building says, okay, you guys are good to go. It's a huge space. I'll get a big office slash breaking room. Huge floor space. Huge showroom space. We're going to have a card bar. Mmm, bars. Wait, Brian, do you had a mouse run across and tip over your computer? Where are you right? Are you in the wilderness right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're not selling. We're not in that business. That requires too much, uh, <laughs> too much licensing to sell cards and weed, even though it's legal in California. How is the moving gonna affect Jaspi allocations? Well, we're gonna keep ordering as much as we 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 can afford, and hopefully we'll be able to get at least we'll have more space to hold more stuff. And I think once the uh, and then so that means we'll be able to break more stuff, which will all which will help increase allocations for the following year, the year after that, et cetera, et cetera. So, so I guess in the long run, yes. In the short run, I don't, know, I don't know how much it's going to have an effect on allocations. Out of 35, Marcus Peters for the Rams. Christopher Day with the Rams. Oh, well, we're not changing the name. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't affect allocations at all. We're just moving addresses. Name is still the same. There's Luke Keekley to 35. All right, three boxes to go. We're almost there. I'm dragging on this one. It's a little bit later at night, so running out of steam. Yeah, address changes won't won't affect allocations. It's just the name of the account that is you have with your distributors. That will change it. So yeah, allocation-wise, everything should actually in the long run be better. We have more space to have more people breaking, which means more which means we can we'll buy more, sell more, then they'll give us more the next year and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully all hopefully all good things. But yeah, so we've got a lot of cool ideas that we have on tap that we that we want to execute. Mostly I think it'll be a cool spot for people to to visit here at the store, right? The store we have now is, is just, it's kind of, it's really small. So so it's if people were to visit or a number of people were to visit, it's really not much, not, not much room to accommodate. New shop is um, uh, is north of this shop, Rex. It's uh, in Hermosa Beach, so we're in Redondo Beach, so we're moving up to Hermosa Beach, which is a little north of here. It's right next to a Vans shoe store, which is great. I'll buy more more shoes from there. It's across the street from uh, a 24-hour fitness, of which I have a membership. Also a Chipotle to work off. You can eat Chipotle and then work it off. At the uh, 24 Hour Fitness, there's a Vons there, or a Ralph's. CVS, huge parking lot, Trader Joe's just down the way, so. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. So maybe some maybe the store will have enough space for the pug to run around. Or at least stay stay in my studio. There it is, Alfred. You spoke it into existence. Alfred has just been like, Lil Jordan Humphrey, where are you? Where are you? There he is. Futures, dual relic and autograph. Lil Jordan Humphrey, 11 out of 40. There it is. That's for the Saints. That is for Alfred. So there you go, man. See? Play to the whistle. Wait, why do you deserve a thank you, Cody? Wait, did I miss something? Was Cody also... Oh, you told him to ask and ask nicely? Well, there you go. See? Thanks, Cody. See, letting people know how it works here. Yeah, you can't just demand. And not too many of those uh, RPAs are numbered, so that's... A special too. There's Drew Brees to 165 for Alfred. John Elway to 299 for the Broncos. George Kittle with his high leg kick to 100 for the Niners. And there's Mike Evans to 100. All right, now Todd wants a Broncos hit. Who are you? Chasing Todd. Oh, Noah Font, right? Oh, Drew Locke, too. And there's John Elway autographs in here. And Philip Lindsay. Oh, you got an expensive team, Todd. Wait, so Brian's like, dude, I'm in the burbs. When that mouse ran across his keyboard and all he heard... <laughs> He's yelling out the F word, and his wife's like, what's going on? Well, did you track down the mouse? I have not seen any of those players. You have Case Keenum, Drew Locke, John O, Noah Font, and Philip Lindsay autographs. I have not seen any in inner case one, and none yet in inner case two. But there's Jonathan Abrams, rookie safety, new, new safety for my Raiders. Goes to Tyler Fernandez. Raiders, Raiders. I tried looking into, uh, does anyone know how much personal seat licenses cost in your town? Where if you have a professional football team in your town, two boxes to go. I don't think I'll be able to afford season tickets for the Las Vegas Raiders. Might be a little bit out of my price range. Yeah, we can run this back if we want to, Andrew. We got to fill the next figure team, which is from a fresh master case. We got to fill it by 10 o'clock Pacific, which is a little under an hour. Yes, Arson, I'm asking how much in your neck of the woods, if any of you have season tickets, how much personal seat licenses cost for the NFL, or if you just know offhand because you've priced them out before. I'm trying to get an idea of how much it's going to cost if I were to buy two Raider season tickets. Wow, your buck season tickets used to be like three seventy five per game. Wow. Because I have to get I have to buy a license 
just for the rights to buy seats, which is kind of crazy, but I gotta do that. Then I gotta pay for the seats. But I figure I could sell like of the eight game season, if they don't play internationally, if eight game season, I, I feel like we could, I could like sell like half of it and make my money back. But then I gotta carry like a few thousand dollars. I think, I think it's gonna be a lot. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Out of 299, got Bart Scott. I don't remember Bart Scott blanking on him. Wait, but a dude said someone told Cody West that a dude sold sold his Atlanta United tickets for enough that it almost paid the cost of a personal seat license. That's pretty cool. And we've got Keith Brooking. Speaking of the Atlanta Falcons, that goes to Mark Livingston, who got randomized the Dirty Birds. Daniel Jones. Got Adrian Peterson to 299. Terry Bradshaw to 165. And we've got David Sills, two-color jersey and autograph. I think Sills is for the Bills. That's how I'm going to remember it. Yes, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! That goes to Jeremy Mental. There you go, Jeremy. From West Virginia, Cody saying, David Sills, stud. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing now, Cody West. That's what I do now. Just like Buffalo Gold, one of my favorite slot machines. All right, last box. Coming up. And then we'll go through some orders. We'll get another uh, another set of schedule going. Looks like that um, Select did sell out, 2013 Select. And that Prime Hockey is only three spots away. And then, I don't know, what else, what else, what other kind of trouble do, you want, do we want to get in tonight? 18 teams left in Legacy Pick a Team 3 from a fresh case. From a fresh case, so... We can run this back tonight if you'd like, but we got to fill it by 10 o'clock Pacific in order to get that in. All right. Oh, Stephen Duger almost went yard. Jeff Iveson, where's the inventory? He says, no Spectra. You guys sold us out of all the Spectra. No Bowman. You sold us out of all the Bowman.
Got plenty of Legacy, brand new release tonight. We had Bowman's Best, NT Baseball, all that sold out the last couple days. Everyone keeps selling things out. But we'll add more. We always add some stuff every day. Exactly, yeah. We gotta get some more now. It'll be there, Jeff. Don't worry. Just check the website every day, jaspiescasebreaks.com, every day, and see what we have available. But here's the thing, Jeff. It's not like we can just call a distributor and say, hey, we want more Spectra basketball. Thing is, the distributor can often be like, hey, we're sold out of Spectra basketball. We don't have any either. It's a popular product. Or they'll be like, hey, uh, yeah, we got Spectra basketball. We got a couple of cases here. Do you want to pay 35% more? All right, then that has to go to you. Do you want to pay 35% more, Jeff Iveson? Maybe you might. Chances are, as a group, they might not. So we sometimes have to pass on, on cases just because they're, they're too expensive. It's Melvin Gordon. So unfortunately, it's not as easy as, like, I wish it was as easy as going down to Walmart and just being like, all right, I'll take a couple Bowman baseball jumbos, take a couple Flawlesses, some Spectras. Right, yeah, Arson's saying they're going, I want to pay 35% less. Me too. But unfortunately, it doesn't work out like that, especially with, with popular products. Taz King, what are we opening after this? I think, do I have anything on my schedule right now? No, I think 2013 Select Football sold out. I have to go through orders after this break. All right, we got, for the Jets, old Mark Gasson, old Jet. Mark Gass now. That goes to Leonard Yentz and the Jets, Jets, Jets. And then after that 2013 select break, I don't think anything else sold out after that. There's Brian Dock. So yeah, that's, that's a little window into, into the world of getting stuff. There's Josh Allen to 199. John Elway to 299. And our last autograph is JJ Arcega Whiteside from Stanford, which everyone knows. That he goes to. That he goes to the Eagles, the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Derek Williams. Oh yeah, you got it, Cody West. It was Eagles. I forgot it too. All right, all right. Everyone else in mid-season form, not me. I've not memorized the draft yet. That's out of 50. Here's Julio to 100. And we made it, folks. We're at the end. Base card, rookie, rookie base card randomizers. So everyone gets a shot at getting a stack of the rookie randos. So everyone has a shot at it. Logan, and so it's the non-serial numbered base RCs. And the name on top will get that lot. Just makes it a little bit easier for the shipping team. So we can ship everything out else, everything else faster. Three and four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, Danilo. There you go, you get the extra cards. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nice break. Pick your team, too. Uh, is in the books. To that brand new 2019 Legacy Football. More in the store. Check it out. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.